Hello, in this video we will discuss about the fasting in Ramadan. Basically, it is the religious fasting in Islam. And this fasting is complete, completely disciplinary because the discipline is more uh, as compared to the intermittent fasting. So let's begin to understand what will be happen in this fasting. So it requires time, for example, in a day, the restriction time and the eating time. While the minimum eating is um, possible and that is the basically full day which that is contain minimum eating and maximum prayer so the maximum praying uh, maximum praying which that will uh, lead to consume energy while the decrease of the intake of the energy so the input will decrease while the output will increase and the more focusing on timetable for fasting and making routine so the fasting is important first of all let's begin to understand in throughout the all religious for autophagy of damaged cell so anti-cancerous and decrease the reactive oxygen species and reactive nitrogen species and anti-aging anti-aging basically it's due to the autophagy and that will lead to increase the growth hormone we will discuss also and characteristics weight loss and growth of gastrointestinal tract and decrease the cancer uh, colorectal cancer and increase the hormone easy to digest the next meal and body learn for food store due to the routine wise so the body will learn here is the muslim person which that is contain blood circulatory system and this blood circulatory system is basically let's begin to understand with the whole mechanism and throughout the fasting time in a day and total uh, fasting days is the one month and that is ramadan month and that month required the uh, fasting throughout the month so the 30 days so here is you can see this is the inferior vena cava and uh, aorta so this is basically the uh, circulatory system so let's begin to understand during the uh, eating time and after the restriction time so first of all here is the digestive system when you will eat before the fajr so in this way here you can see this is the ingestion will be occur after the eating of food and water so that's all thing will be restrict after this time so in this way uh, um, before the prey before the prey it will be uh, decreased so the here is the bolus and the digestion will begin after the digestion in six hours required so in this way the glucose will be entered into the blood circulatory system and amino acid and triacylglycerol in the form of low density lipoprotein and fatty acid so this is the tissue and in this way the digestion will be occur and assimilation will be occur this is the assimilation the glucose will move into the tissue and amino acid as well as fat. So it is the, in this way the response of this high level of glucose is known as hyperglycemia will be occur to lead the pancreatic beta cell and release the insulin by this response. And this beta cell will lead to bind with the beta insulin receptor sorry insulin receptor bind uh, with insulin with the different tissue to lead to influx of the glucose through glute transporter channel 4 and this is the adipose tissue so adipogenesis and glycogenesis will be occur in the liver and muscle and adipocyte will uh, anabolic this is the mechanism is anabolic and this is the initial phase of the fasting so let's begin to one by one further the late fasting in a day so this is the free fatty acid and the fatty acid which that is in the form of low density lipoprotein. This is the globule like structure contain lipoprotein and the triglycerides uh, after the assimilation from the digestive tract into the blood circulatory system. So here is the glucose will be time wise decrease so the blood glucose level will be decreased. So the insulin is anabolic, insulin is anabolic hormone while the glucagon is the catabolic. 
glucagon will be produced after the blood glucose level low so known is the hypoglycemia which that will trigger the glucagon we will discuss also so here i am drawing the graph for one day fasting period so the vertical shows that the blood and nutrients for example in the uh, 4 uh, am so the uh, 4 am that is basically after morning is basically is the blood nutrient will be increased due to the eating time so in this way here is the time horizontally shows after the breaking the fast so here is you can see that rapidly increase the blood glucose into the blood circulatory system while amino acids is amino acid and fat is also increase but this increase basically here is you can see this is the blood glucose level drop with the time and the amino acid is also dropped but the retention of the amino acid into the cells into the tissue will maintain while here the triglyceride as well as fatty acid and lipids will be increase with the passage of time so the changes is that the glucose will decrease while the triacylglycerol and lipids will be increase and here is the vertical shows that day so this is a water store in body for homeostasis uh, horizontally show so in this way the water re restriction benefit is that the water store in a body for homeostasis so what our body will learn for storage of water so with the passage of time in the 30 days the so initial days is very difficult because the water will not store too much water retention will not due to the initial time but the passage of time the days more to increase the more water uh, storage so the maximum storage in the last days so here on the other hand the growth of the gastrointestinal tract due to the restriction of food so the gastrointestinal tract not work so it will repair an enzyme enzyme preparation so in this way when glucose will be dropped so the glucagon will be produced glucagon is the catabolic hormone which that is bind with the adipose tissue as well as liver and uh, muscle cell so in this way here is i am drawing the adipose tissue which that is lead to fat loss due to the triacylglycerol will convert into the free fatty acid and glycerol with the human sensitive lipase enzyme so in this way the free fatty acid will be increased into the blood circulatory system while the glucose maintain the homeostasis of the glucose very important in the initial phases of this one day fasting in this way the nadh nadh and fadh2 and atp is produced from the krebs cycle by the using of oxygen so aerobic respiration in the neuron of the brain cell so the glucose is very important for the using because the ketones are not producing too much in the initial time but here the free fatty acid and triacylglycerol and low density lipoprotein will increase while the glucose level will be decrease but the passage of time glucose level will be maintained but the using of the glucose will be less while the using of the fat will be more as energy as well as other purpose so here the scavenger receptor ldl receptor low density lipoprotein will move inside to the liver hepatocyte and the free fatty acid and fatty acid as well as the triacylglycerol and in this way the endocytosis will be occur by via a scavenger receptor and in this way here is the fatty acid the free fatty acid and triacylglycerol that lead to gluconeogenesis from the free fatty acid into the glucose and the glycogen will be depleted into the glycogenolysis to produce sugar and on the other hand the ketogenesis from the fatty acid triacylglycerol uh, which that produce the ketogenesis so the ketones will be produced while the cholesterol extra cholesterol will be excreted here is the ketones can be beta hydroxybutyrate glyceraldehyde and acetone these ketone will be depleted or excreted from the urinary system so the water restriction will lead to maintain the ketones 
as well as the ketone will be maintained due to the uh, less water absorption less water consumption consumption throughout the day so here is the tissue which that is ketone is also used uh, we are here is the glucagon which that is bind first initial phases which that will lead to produce the glu glucose for example the muscle cell so this is the muscle cell produce glucose through a glycogenolysis and this glucose is further used in the brain and different tissue in the initial phase here is the adipose tissue which that is glucagon also bind as well as epinephrine is bind due to the sympathetic nervous system activation so remember the sympathetic nervous system will be also activation so the catabolism will accelerate more so the triacylglycerol uh, here is the low density lipoprotein formation so in this way the hyperlipidemia and hypercholesterol will be occur but in this way this is the normally it is it will be maintained due to that passage of time because it is the initial phase so it's not a problem so here is the glucose by glycogenolysis for brain choosing and the ketones will be produced by the amino acid production and go into the cell blood circulatory system with the passage of time in the last hours and the fat loss as well as a muscle loss will be occur but this muscle retention will be maintained with the passage of time and the sympathetic nervous system increase so the heart beat will be increased in this way the heart require the free fatty acid more because the heart prefer the ketones as well as free fatty acid for the repair of the muscle of the heart so here the growth hormone will be increased due to the decrease of the insulin so the alternative alternative so alternatively growth hormone will be increased while the insulin will be decreased will lead to grow of the cell so here is you can see with the passage of time is the horizontally and the constriction of the anabolism is the insulin basically increase with the one day and rapidly decrease while the growth hormone will be increase and maintain and the glucagon increase and catabolism will be occur but that's catabolism target to the adipose tissue first remember that so that is why the weight loss is very amazing and that is fasting is amazing in the islamic religious islamic uh, islam so here you can see also the uh, 12 hours later or basically is 12 o'clock it can be basically uh, uh, before the uh, morning time so here you can see damaged cell will be apoptosis and the immune cell will be activated to then produce the necrotic factor kappa b necrosis factor kappa b this necrosis factor kappa b will be bind with the cell different uh, cells for the apoptosis so the apoptosis will be occur due to the immune cell activation and the apoptosis will recycling the amino acid as well as the polypeptides and there are a lot of things for example sugar and gluconeogenesis will be occur through a apoptotic content so the cell will be death so th this cell death is a programmed cell death not a necrotic cell death so here you can see the damaged cell this damaged cell is basically apoptosis and necrosis will be occur due to the injured cell and this is the cd8 t lymphocyte will be activated to kill that uh, cancerous cell and there are a lot of prob problematic cell and water return a water restriction benefit benefit is that body learn to store water and less urine to less trace minerals vitamin and uh, and major ion uh, excretion prevention and less kidney load so the nephron of the kidney will be regenerate due to the less working so the all body is going to rest and clear the pathogenesis as well as clear the infection on the other hand the clear the basically is the program uh, cancerous cell due to the programmed cell death and apoptosis and necrosis so here is the homeostasis the vertical show and that is i am drawing the another graph for understand the whole days the whole month so here is the red color is showing that the glycogen will be depleted 
with the passage of days but increase again while repair and learn the body to how to store the glycogen and on the other hand uh, the blood glucose will be maintained throughout the day because when drop the glucose level so it means it will be ultimately uh, maintained due to the uh, brain using as well as other mechanism whereas the keto adaptation will be occur with the every day is basically the fluctuation will lead to keto adaptation while here is the enzyme uh, uh, preparation for easy to digest in the next meal so this all thing is the basically fasting uh, fasting about the islam so thanks for watching